Welcome to The Creative Husband. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a rubber stamp effect in Affinity Photo. A rubber stamp is a pattern or an image that is either carved, molded, or laser engraved onto a sheet of rubber. An ink is then applied to the rubber stamp and is then used to make decorative images on different types of media like paper or fabric. First, go to File New. Set the width to 1920 pixels and the height to 1080 pixels in the Layout section. Then hit Create. Next, go to File Open and select the paper image you downloaded. Grab the Move tool from the Tools panel. In the Transform panel, make sure the Lock Aspect Ratio is turned on. Then resize the paper image so that it covers the entire document. Now, press T on the keyboard to activate the Artistic Text tool. Take the tool and click and drag on the document. Then type the text you want to use. You can select the font and the font size for the text. With the text layer selected, press Ctrl and G to place the text into a group layer. Then go to Layer Effects and select Color Overlay. Go to Color, go to RGB Sliders to select your color. Then go to Lightness to make the shade of your color lighter or darker. Check the Scale with Object box and label the group color. After that, select the group layer. Then press Ctrl and G to place the group layer into another group. Once you've done that, go to File Open. Select and drag the concrete image you downloaded onto the document. Take the Move tool and resize the image so that it covers the document. Place the image layer at the top in the Layers panel. Select the concrete image layer. Next, right-click on the layer and select Mask to Below. This layer should move inside of the text group. In the Layers panel, open the text group and select the concrete image layer. Then, select the Blend Options icon. Go to the Source Layer Ranges section. Now, grab the handle on the left and drag it down until you start to see the grunge effect appear on the text. You have to play around with this a bit until you get it to look how you want it to. Also, you might need to change the color of your text so that the effect looks right. And you also might need to move the concrete image around. Next, select the main group layer in the Layers panel. You can go to the Blend mode and change the blend if you want to. I will select Multiply. After doing this, you might need to adjust the text color again. Go to the Color group in the Layers panel. Click the FX Layer Effect icon on the layer. Then go to Color and adjust your color. Additionally, you can add a little more depth to your stamp by adding a bevel and emboss effect to it. In the Layers panel, make sure the color group is selected and select the FX icon on the layer. Check the bevel emboss box. Set the radius to one pixel. You can play around with the direction. To make the stamp look even more realistic, we'll add a border around the text. Go to the Tools panel and grab the Rounded Rectangle tool, or you can decide to use another shape such as a circle. In the Context toolbar, go to the Fill and get rid of the Fill color. Then go to the Stroke panel. Set the width to 45 points. After that, go to Align and select Align Stroke to Outside. Now draw a rectangle over the text. Once you've done that, go to the Layers panel and drag the rounded rectangle layer into the color group. It should be above the text layer in the group. In the Layers panel, select both the rectangle layer and the text layer. Go to the Alignment panel and select Align Center, then Align Middle, then hit Apply. When you're finished with all of that, you can select the main group layer. Right-click on the layer and click Rasterize and Trim. Now you have the stamp as a layer by itself and you can use it on other things, but make sure you're satisfied with the look of your stamp first before doing this step. And this is how you create a rubber stamp effect in Affinity Photo. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed watching the video, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the bell notification button so you'll be notified when new videos are posted.